When your cool cousin Kirk texts you an idea, you do it. You do it pronto. If this is your first video, my name is Orly. This is the DIY designer. I do DIY fashion. I do DIY home decor. I do lots of personal style content, tools and tips and tricks that you can use to get the most out of your clothes. DIY them in a way that feels very you. Celebrate your own unique personality through your style. That is what I'm all about. And today is really fun. So I was struggling coming up with DIY ideas because summer is just so many things going on. My brain is in a million different places. And my cousin Kirk, we were just at a wedding together and he called me. He's like, yo, I saw your Instagram story. I got an idea. He's a surfer. And he's like, we always wear these surf ponchos, hooded, oversized. We use them to change out of our wetsuit and they're cool. And he's like, and all the guys love them and the girls love them. They're actually kind of expensive and it could be a cool way to use up old towels. Mer, yes it is. So I'm going to show you guys how to make these. I've got two different techniques. One of them, I'm going to show you how to use the hood of something that already exists. And another one, I'm going to show you how to make that custom out of an old towel. This is a sewing project, but it is pretty basic. So most of you guys are going to have no problem with this at all. Um, okay. Let's go. I decided to go to the thrift store to get towels because I knew that I wanted to cut up multiple elements from different towels and I don't know why. I would I would feel bad if I did that to my own towels. They were two or three bucks, so that was perfect. And then I went to the men's section and I found these hoodies. I don't know what this material is called, but it feels like it works with towels really well and I thought that it would look amazing to kind of upcycle both. So this is my first one that I created, this super bright sort of neon colored uh, towels and the matching hoodie. Now. I am cutting the hood out of this sweatshirt and I'm cutting it with the seam intact, meaning that when I take it off, the whole thing is basically clean finish. The entire seam is going to stay on the hood and on the pocket, removing it from the sweatshirt. That way when I sew it back on, it basically looks clean finished. Now, this is sort of the plan. This is what it's gonna eventually look like. We need to cut the neck hole in our towel. So the best way to do that is fold it in half horizontally and then hold, fold it in half vertically. Now, I just cut this little half circle in the corner and it's gonna be dead center in the front and back and left to right. And this hood has a little bit of a V-neck. So doing a simple slice like this right down the center of a regular crew and then basically folding those two little tails back like this is gonna give you a perfectly symmetrical v-neck. It's a really great hack for cutting a v-neck. You can actually cut the two little triangles off from the rounded part of your neckline into the point of your V and then boom, you've got a perfect little V-neck. Now, all we have to do is pin the hood to the neckline. So you're gonna start with the center back of the hood to the center back of your sweatshirt and, uh, excuse me, your towel and just start working your way all the way around until it finds center front. Now again, because I cut this with the seam attached, I'm basically laying it on top of the towel. This is not a face-to-face -face situation. This is literally like a patch going directly on top of the outside of my towel. Same thing goes for the pocket. The little angled section of this pocket is not gonna get sewed down uh, because that's where your hands are gonna go, but everything else is just gonna get stitched. Now, I'm doing a straight stitch and I'm going right along the edge of this hood. That's what's gonna, again, make it look like it's just was sewn onto this. Like the clean finished edge of the hood is actually been sewn directly onto the towel. So a very, very tight seam allowance going all the way around the edge, through the back of the neckline, come back around the front until you have sewn the entire thing down. Once that's done, you're gonna move on to the pocket. For the pocket, what you wanna do is you wanna sew the bottom, the top, and the two little sides. You wanna leave the angled sides open because that's where you're gonna slide your hands into. And so obviously if you close that, it, it's decorative. It's, it's not an actual pocket. Now let's move on to the second one. I'm using this towel to make my own custom hood. I love the idea of using that fringe detail as the front of my hood. So I'm taking an old hooded sweatshirt that I have that's a little oversized, so I think the fit's gonna be perfect, and I'm lining it up. Front of the hood goes to the front of the fringe, and I'm gonna start cutting and following the shape. You can see that I did not cut from the very front. I'm leaving that fold open, and I'm only starting to cut where the curve of the hood begins. You're gonna mark the back of your hood and the front of your hood, and now I'm just gonna connect the two together. The front of the hood is always a little bit longer than the back, um, just because the way that it falls on your neckline, so you just wanna follow that line. Now, you can see that I have two pieces. This is not necessary for everyone. The reason I decided to do it is that I wanted it to be that the print of the hood, the print of the towel, is gonna be visible from the outside and from the inside. So it's basically doubled and clean finish. If you're not doing that, don't worry about it. You don't have to worry. You can just cut one piece out. 
Now, this is my pocket. I basically just eyeballed like a trapezoid shape, and then I used my X-Acto blade and my ruler to kind of square off all of my edges and make sure that it was perfectly even and symmetrical. So very easy to make this little pocket from scratch. And there we go. Now, I am sewing closed the seam in my first hood. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start where the fold is, the part that we did not cut kind of by our forehead, and you're gonna gradually work your way into where you did cut. Sew it closed, and when you flip it inside out, Voila, we have a perfect hood. Now again, if you were only doing one, you're done. But because I'm doing two, I'm putting them inside of each other. So it's clean finished with the print from both sides. So the seam allowance is hidden on the inside of the hood. And now all I'm doing is I'm just sewing it closed in the center front. I'm also gonna sew it closed on the bottom so that this hood becomes one complete piece. Um, and not two separate pieces. We need to cut our neck hole. Same exact thing is gonna happen. You're gonna fold it in half both ways and cut from the center. This is the one that I cut too big by accident. I, you'll see in a second, I'm gonna pin the hood all the way in. This one in particular, because I don't have all of that seam allowance to contend with, I am sewing it in a more traditional way, like face to face. But do you see how much space I have in the middle there? It didn't match. The, the hood did not wrap and close in the front. So in order to make it work, I created a little V-neck in it so that it would look a little bit more intentional. It ends up creating a bit more of an open neck hole than I wanted, so I would recommend cutting your neck hole smaller. You can always make it bigger. That way you're guaranteed to have it fit. But the process for this one is essentially the same as the last one. You're just gonna sew the hood into the neck hole all the way around. And then for this particular one, I'm sewing down a simple quarter inch seam allowance for my V-neck so that it's nice and clean finished. And the last thing we have to do is the little pocket. If you did not repurpose one and you made it from scratch, I recommend first sewing down all of your edges so that they are clean finished. It's just gonna make it easier when you actually apply it to your towel. You'll just go back in within the existing stitch line. Um, it'll just look nice and clean finished. Uh, it's really fun. I can't wait for you guys to see them on. You could totally close up the sides if you want. That would be very easy to do if you did want to close up the sides. I like it sort of breezy and open. It feels so good. But if you do want to close it up, that's a simple stitch right down the side. So very easy for you guys to do if you decide you want to do that. I hope that you guys love this video. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel. And if you aren't new, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching the videos and leaving me your feedback and commenting. If you can like the video, that's a great way to communicate um, that this is a good channel with YouTube. Uh, all right, have a great week.